Hello again everyone. Now that we have our cylinder heads on, it's time to move on to installing the rest of this valve train. Now the only two remaining components are the push rods and rocker arms and I guess you could say that there's a third piece which would be the pedestal and bridge assembly. So what you're going to do is if you reuse if you reused your any of your push rods and rocker arms um, you would have had them set aside in order how they came out like I did earlier in my earlier videos <clears throat> excuse me and these are the push rods these are the original ones they really don't have any wear on them at all hardly uh, there's no ridge on the end of the balls and they're, they're just very slightly shined a little bit there's no real wear. So I decided to reuse them. And the rocker arms and pedestals are actually newer. I replaced those about a year ago. So they're in very good shape yet. So I'm gonna, going to be reusing those as well. And so what you do is just clean them off real good and apply assembly lube on the bottom part. You know this is the top because it has this pressed on clip and it can't go through the hole. So you know that's the top. And also before I get too far, if you do decide to reuse your push rods, the best way to find out that they are not bent is to lay them on a flat surface and roll them. If you notice a little bend or anything, that means that they're bent and will either need to be straightened or replaced with a new one. So just put a little assembly lube on the bottom. Stick it through the hole in the head. Just let it go through till it's in the cup in the lifter. Do the same with the other one. Just like that. Now you'll take your rocker arm pedestal and bridge assembly. Oops, like so. This is how they were removed from this particular cylinder. And you want to smear assembly lube all over this pedestal, like I have already. And also smear a little on the tip that contacts the valve and a little in the socket for your push rod. Do that to both sides. I've already done it, so. Next, all you do is line them up with the push rods and begin threading the bolts into the hole. Now if you've noticed there's no adjusting nut or anything like that for these. There's no stud that sticks up. That's because these are non adjustable. They're pretty much set to whatever they are. Once they're kind of snug in there just check and make sure that they're lined up with the push rod. And I believe these are half inch. So you just want to snug those up. And the lifter will push back on you a little bit. So just take them down until they're snug and work them evenly. Okay. Now the torque spec for this is 25 foot pounds. So just take your torque wrench. You can either set it to that, or if you're using an older beam style like mine, just watch till it goes to 25. You don't need to work these in a step or anything, just go straight to 25. And same with the other side. Just double check. And they're good. So that's all there really is to installing these. They're very simple. With a Chevy engine you would have to check for lash and everything. Some manufacturers specify using a completely dry lifter. Some say you need them pumped up a little bit to check the, uh, the lash that would be in between there. But these are very easy, straightforward. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. 
and I'm going to begin installing the intake afterwards or possibly the exhaust manifolds. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll have another video up shortly.